And in stage five, we're going to be fitting the cooling fan. So once again, remove all the protective film off of the plate and once again, get all your components ready. Okay, and the small washers putting over the thrust screws and the four M3 nuts. Now, take the fan cover, as you can see here, and place that over this hole like so. And then once you've done that, I'm just gonna gently lift that up and pop four screws into the holes. Now, you might wanna do a couple at a time, all right? And then basically we're gonna be placing the fan, all right? Now, you do have to make sure that you've got the orientation of the fan correct, okay? So when you're actually doing that, making sure that the actual label here is facing towards the chrome on that side, okay? And then once you've done that, we then need to make sure that this the cabling that comes out is facing up towards the center. So we'll just put that in and just, if you can follow the photographs at the end of this sequence, you'll see what I mean. We'll put those in like so. Okay, and once we've done that, we're gonna turn it over. Okay, and then we're then gonna place the, the nuts on. Now, don't tighten them all the way down because the nuts actually need to sit into the recesses of the back of the fan unit. Okay, so we're just putting them on loosely for the moment. Okay, so do that. As we've done here. And once we've got those on, we can then let that drop down. And the nuts, as you'll notice, then they'll sit into the recess of the fan unit. Okay, once you've done that, turn that back over and get your screwdriver and then just gently tighten those four thrust screws up, making sure that you're going from one corner to the other so you're alternating from one corner to the other. Okay. Gently, like so. So do the rest for the others, and that completes this stage.